Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Welcome back to Painted Kids. This is Jessica, and today we're going to be learning to draw Anna from Frozen 2, the loyal and dedicated sister of Elsa. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw Anna's face, and we're just going to make a nice uh, half circle shape here. Very simple. And then we're going to start with her hair. So I'm going to bring it down. And then once I get a little bit off that circle, I'm just going to bring it right back up towards the top, curve it over, and I'm just going to leave that opening right there. Then I'm going to head over to that uh, first line that we did at the very top of that one, right here. And we're going to bring it down and up. We're going to start creating her bangs down and up, down and up. And I kind of brought this one over a little bit more so that way I could curve this line down and then bring it up bring it over and then attach it so those are her bangs and I left that little gap there um, at the end you'll want to leave that open so we're gonna put a nice little braid there go to the other side do a half circle just like that and then we're gonna do another little circle underneath go to the other side do the same thing that's her braid kind of disappearing behind her head and then I'm gonna come up and around and I'm gonna follow that shape that those bangs made and that's the rest of her head so we have the rest of her hair and then we have her bangs now I'm going to do her neck here, so two curved lines just like that, and that makes her shoulder. And I'm going to come over on the right side, and I'm just going to curve it in like this. And I'm going to come over to the other side, I'm going to curve around, and then I'm going to connect it at the bottom there. And then do another line, and that's the cuff of her sleeve, and that's her shoulder. So I'm going to bring her hand, and I'm just going to do a little half circle here, and that's going to be her hand in a fist. Now I'm going to bring a line down and in oh, just a little bit and then a curved line up and then I'm gonna do a curved line coming off the back of her arm there and that's like her little cape jacket blowing in the wind and then on the other side here I'm just gonna curve and then bring it up and then in almost like a kidney bean and then a line across and another line across and that is gonna be her back arm there so she's like taking a step forward so now we're going to do her jacket. So we're going to start at the top, right underneath her head, and we're going to bring the line down, and I'm going to kind of curve it to follow the, sh the way her jacket's blowing. And I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to leave the front jacket open, just like this. And now I'm going to do a little line right at the top there to make these little triangles to show her, you know, the collar of her jacket. And then I'm going to do a line straight across, and I'm doing two lines so it shows that chain that's holding the jacket together. Curve line down, curve line down, and then you just bring a line out from right underneath that, just like this, and then a straight line across, and that's her jacket open. I'm gonna do her tie across her waist, one, two, and then I put a line right in the middle to show that it's kind of wrapping around, and that is her little jacket. Blowing in the wind. So now I'm gonna do her legs. So I'm gonna angle it in, angle out, bring it across, and then bring up. And that's her foot and then I'm gonna do two lines towards the top of her leg and that's gonna be like the cuff of her boot there we are and then I'm gonna to go to the other side I'm gonna do two lines right next to each other so one line and they're kind of gonna be angled in a little bit angled in and then I'm gonna do a half circle that's gonna show the front of her foot facing towards us and then a straight line across just like that and just like with the other foot, I'm gonna do one two or the cuff of her boot just like this and there we are so now I'm gonna finish up the rest of Anna's hair she has it down in this one so I'm gonna curve it around and in then I'm gonna curve it down and then I'm gonna curve it over and then in over in over in and then connect to the rest of her body so it looks like it's blowing in the wind and now I'm gonna do Anna's face and I'm just going to do a circle and then I'm gonna wrap it around into a big oval and then a smaller circle. And then right next to that one, I'm gonna do just a little bit bigger of a circle. And that's her eye with her highlight. So I'm gonna do the same thing, circle, oval around, small circle, a little bit bigger circle right next to that one. And I'm putting these highlights in the same position on both eyes, I'm not changing it based on right or left. A little line for her nose little diagonal line for her smile and then a line underneath for that chin and then two lines for her eyebrows and then I'm just gonna fill in around the circles with black 
and there you are. And if there's a specific way that you like to do your eyes, uh, feel free to do that yourself. All right, so now, because um, Anna actually doesn't have any powers, I decided that I was going to draw Gale in with Anna, or um, for those of you that haven't seen the movie, Wind. So I'm just going to do a couple little leaves. I'm not really thinking of specific um, leaf shapes. I'm just kind of um, kind of squiggling around because leaves look kind of funny when they blow in the wind. They don't look a very specific way. So I'm just going in and out and around and I'm putting a little swirl in to show the movement of the wind. So I'm just going to in, out, in, out, and then connect. You know, some, something as simple like that. And then squiggle in and then bring it in. And then around, and then in, and bring it to a point, and putting little swirls here and there. And there is my Anna. Now, for her dress design with this one, it's pretty simple. Uh, she has this really nice, deep, uh, purpley color for her jacket. She has some mustard yellow in the, uh, the pants that she wears and the um, shirt underneath it. And then she also has um, black. So I just kept to, you know, that color. It's not exactly like her outfit. I didn't put um, the exact details in. But if you want to take time to put the exact details of her full Frozen 2 outfit, feel free. So if you guys like this video, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more fun videos just like this one, then head on over to our channel and hit that subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell so that you are notified every single time that we post a new video. And stay tuned for more fun Frozen 2 characters. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye!